I am now going to make my first video for the sole purpose of education. Do you want me to make more? Congratulations! 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 Congratulations, scientists at CERN, for discovering the best evidence yet that supports the Higgs boson's existence. What is a Higgs boson, you may ask? Higgs bosons are bosons that give other particles mass. All the Higgs bosons in the entire universe, basically, come together to make the Higgs hand gestures. I am going to show you a demonstration about how the Higgs field works. I am going to use this area over here to represent the Higgs field. Pretend this string represents a massless particle, like a photon or a graviton. I turned around this table so that I could get a better camera view. A massless particle can go through the Higgs field quite easily and does not interact with Higgs bosons at all. I'm going to use this ball to represent a particle with a very small amount of mass, like a neutrino. A neutrino interacts with the Higgs field very little. And it can pass through easily, but not as well as a photon can. And therefore, neutrinos have a very small amount of mass, but it does have some. I'm going to use this marble to represent a particle with more mass than a neutrino, but not exactly a huge amount of mass, like an electron. This electron can go through the Higgs field and interacts with it more than a neutrino and has a harder time getting through it and requires more force to get. I am going to use this bouncy ball to represent a particle that has 380,000 times more mass than an electron, like a quark. An up quark has a hard time getting through because it has to deal with a lot of mass and interacts with the Higgs field strongly. It therefore has a lot of mass. I am sorry, but this model is not perfect. A particle actually interacts with the Higgs field by gaining Higgs bosons as it goes along. The more a particle interacts with the Higgs field, the more Higgs bosons it collects. The more a particle with mass accelerates, the more Higgs bosons it gains, and therefore it makes it harder to continue accelerating faster. How much mass a particle gains as it accelerates faster does not go like this. Mass gained, percentage sign, speed, C, speed of light, as in E equals mc squared. Zero kilometers per hour. 299,792,458 meters per second. I just said that from memory. Instead, it goes more like this. That is why no particle with mass can go at the speed of light. Because it would require more than an infinite amount of energy. Do not let my demonstration of what the Higgs boson is make you think that some particles are bigger than others. All fundamental particles have the exact same volume. By the way, CERN is a scientific company that operates all across Europe. Among its many facilities includes the Large Hadron Collider, located under Geneva, Switzerland. The LHC was built with the aim of smashing together two opposite beams of protons at extremely high energies in order to witness the results of their collisions. The most famous goal of this experiment is to find the theorized Higgs boson, the so-called God particle, which so far has eluded discovery until now. The first beam of protons was steered across the LHC on September 10, 2008, but operations were halted on September 19 when a fault was discovered. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, the Large Hadron Collider is not just the world's largest particle accelerator, it's also the largest and most complex machine ever built, and the largest fridge. Located on the Franco-Swiss border near Geneva, Switzerland, it consists of 6.7 mile, 27 kilometer long circular tunnel under the ground. The Higgs field exists everywhere in the entire universe. If you count the Higgs field, 
there is virtually no empty space. The Higgs field is named after Peter Higgs. Peter Higgs came up with the Higgs boson in the 1960s. I think that he should win the Nobel Prize this year for physics. And so does Stephen Hawking. What are bosons? Bosons are named after Sothendrin Nas Bose, an Indian scientist who worked with Albert Einstein. Bosons are basically particles that do not follow the Pauli exclusion principle. Pauli exclusion principle is a property that only certain particles have. If you put two or more of the same non-boson particle together, and they can find enough space, the particles will annihilate each other into pure energy. This important property is called the Pauli exclusion. The fact that bosons do not follow the Pauli exclusion principle makes them ideal candidates to be force carriers. A particle that obeys the Pauli exclusion principle is called a fermion. Fermions are named after Enrico Fermi, who was the leader of the Manhattan Project. Higgs bosons are responsible for mass and are therefore responsible for weight. It seems as if its greatest accomplishment ever in the history of the universe so far are these infinitely heavy weights. That concludes today's episode. If you think I should make more educational videos, leave a comment about it.